They're called out founding fathers. The patriots of the Revolutionary War were all men, mostly. Well, for General Pulaski, the war hero who came here from Poland, it's not so cut and dried. THV 11's Rolly Hoyt explains why now. Don and Craig, General Casimir Pulaski has been described as daring and innovative. His help in the Battle of Brandywine saved George Washington's life. That's why he's honored with counties and forts and highways across America. But new research says we should rethink the male pronouns. I never I thought about that. I never, you know, give that much thought. And why would you? We take for granted the name Pulaski. It's our county and it honors a Revolutionary War hero, General Casimir Pulaski. The Polish count came to America and organized the Continental Army's fledgling cavalry. Our local statues aren't even modeled on the 18th century figure. They're a 20th century war hero named John Yancey. But Pulaski's war stories always had a little bit of mystery. Now it seems that was only the beginning, according to new research. This bust of Pulaski is solid. It's made of brass. Of course, this new research is leading to questions about Pulaski the person, and they're much more fluid. For 25 years, researchers have tried to determine just where Pulaski was buried. He died in the Battle of Savannah, Georgia, but bones entombed in a memorial there puzzled analysts. The injuries matched, and now DNA testing of his descendants does too. But some of the bones appeared female. After years of calling the results inconclusive, scientists with the Smithsonian say Pulaski was probably intersex, having body parts of both a man and a woman. Talk about a historic script flip. It's just wild that he hit all that, you know, I guess because he didn't really, he figured that might hurt his career. We don't know how much Pulaski kept hidden. The male qualities are obvious, facial hair and male pattern baldness. But underneath, who knows? And to most we talk to, who cares? We seem ready to embrace it. I hope we are. I, I hope everyone is. I, I'm certainly ready for it. Don't change my opinion at all. It's, it's, um, you judge a person by their actions. Yes, yes, yes. I don't think it really matters. It's what he did. Now, it's hard to tell how many other people could be classified as intersex. Some estimates figure it could be as common as having red hair. Medical clinics report abnormalities at a rate of about one in every 2,000 births.